Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we can take 100 to the left hand side. And what we have becomes x cubed minus x squared minus 100, then equals to 0 from here. Then from here, we can write 100 as 125 minus 25. That is what we have becomes x cube minus x square then minus into bracket 125 minus 25 close bracket then equals to 0 here. That is here minus open this bracket and we have x square x cube rather minus x square then minus 125 plus 25 then equals to 0 here also from what we have here we can write 125 as 5 times 5 times 5 which is 5 cube and also 25 as 5 times 5 which is 5 square then this equation becomes x cube minus x square minus 5 cube plus 5 square equals to 0 from here. The next step, we bring the power of 3 together. At this here we have x cube minus 5 cube. Also the power of 2 together, we now have minus x square plus 5 square equals to 0 from here. Then we can rewrite it as x cube minus 5 cube into brackets. Then here minus is common, we factor it as minus into brackets. Here we are left with x square, then minus 5 square, close brackets, equals to 0 from here. Then next step here, the first bracket here follows when we have a cube minus b cube which you can write as a minus b into brackets, then open brackets, a square plus a b plus b square. Then also the second bracket here follows when we have a square minus b square, which is the same thing as a minus b into brackets, then open brackets, a plus b. Then when we follow this, this equation here becomes x minus 5 into brackets, then open brackets, x squared plus 5x plus 5 squared, close brackets, then minus. Also, following the second method here, we have into brackets x minus 5, close bracket, then open brackets, x plus 5 close brackets, then equals to 0 from here. That is, next step here, we have x minus 5 comma. We can factor it out and we have x minus 5 into brackets. Then open bracket here, we are left with x squared plus 5x plus 5 squared, that's 25. Then here we are left with minus into bracket x plus 5. Close brackets and close this bracket, which is equals to zero from here. That is here yeah. minus open this bracket and we have x minus five into bracket, then open bracket x square plus five x plus twenty five. Then here we have minus x minus five close brackets, then equals to zero here. That is what we have becomes x minus 5 into brackets, then open bracket x square 5x minus x give us plus 4x 25 minus 5 we have plus 20 close brackets then equals to 0 from here. That is from here we have two possible cases. 
the first term x minus 5 equals to 0 or we have x squared plus 4x plus 20 equals to 0 here and solving on this side this implies we have x equals to 5 which is a real solution here then here we have a quadratic equation we are here equals to 1 b equals to 4 and c equals to 20 when we apply the quadratic formula, it is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And what we have becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square minus 4 times 1 times 20. Then over 2 times 1. That is, we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 squared, that's 16. Then minus 4 times 1 times 20, that's 80. Then over 2. Then this becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of. 16 minus 80, we have minus 64. Then over 2. That is, here we can write this as x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 64 times minus 1 over 2. Then from where we have root a times b, which can be separated as root a times root b. What we have here can be written as x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64 times root minus 1 then over 2. That is, here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64, that's 8, then root minus 1 is add over 2. Then when we separate this into two fractions, we have x equals to minus 4 over 2 plus or minus 8i over 2. So 2 goes in 4. Minus 4, that's minus 2. So we have x equals to minus 2 plus or minus. Also 2 goes in it, that's 4, that's 4 high. That is here. Also we have two complex solutions here. That is, all together in this problem, we have three solutions together one we are too complex and when we write it out we can say x1 is equals to 5 and x2 is equals to minus 2 plus 4i and x3 equals to minus 2 minus 4i that is one re and two complex solutions here and thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. Thank you. See you next class, and bye for now.